time. So here is the space. There isn't much going on. 180 and a bit centimeters. How many centimeters is that? So here are the dimensions. Five and a half. Two, five, five and a half. You sure? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not so secure. Yes. So this is the gym. As you can see, nothing quite here yet. Uh, we've just got some measurements. I'll tell you the date. The date is the 17th of November 2020. And we've got the measurements. So as you can see, it's about five meters across over there and about five meters well six meters on this side and then it's five meters on that side so there is a slight differentiation in terms of the um, the lengths of the size so we're just gonna have to cross that bridge when we get there this or i'll probably put some plaster on it uh, or, and then paint it so the plan mirror mirror design flooring Bench, bench, three weights, maybe a yoga section over here with like exercise ball, um, and a boxing ball potentially, who knows, and resistance bands. Um, yeah, and then we get some, some banging speakers in so we can get this place like a proper garage gym vibe. So, what we're gonna do is we've got two weeks until we are going to open. Um, we're going to try and open on 2nd of December 2020. It's not going to be a public gym, it's going to be mainly, mainly sort of a private um, sort of establishment for the boys. Yeah, I think the main reason was, you know, our gyms before, because it's currently locked down. Firstly, they, they all closed. Um, and then when they reopen, you have to book in advance three or four days. And you know, we, we can't do that. And you know, one of the reasons I just wanted to bring everyone together, bring all my mates together, allow us to train together, um, and make gains together, and then start performing even better. Yeah. We're here, we're at it, and we're going in. Well, am I back? We don't know. I'm currently in the gym, it's my performance. So you see how dirty it is over here. Uh, we're looking to get a water supply. We're going to get this at the bottom, um, a rubbered mass, the full works, the full shebang. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited. Um, this is my first time sort of owning a, a gym, but we've been a life goal. So yeah, we'll have to see how we get on. And yeah, nice. We got Wilkie as well, sorting us out. <laughs> you know, with the equipment. Yeah, so squat rack on this side, uh, mirror also on this side, and then I'm also thinking mirror on that side because you can't get too many mirrors. This is this is what the garden gym lacked. So this is the SDS drill. <laughs> what a bad man. Oh yes, we have power. So I'll get you an extension. Yeah. I'll leave this bit for you. Five breaks, yeah. yeah. And then, three times this beer. Yo, that is sick. Nice. Save it, that is sick. Yeah, yeah. So, um, let me get you. You do this one. Yeah, we'll, we'll start, start on this one. Hal, your goggles, please. Okay. Your goggles. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. We've got our good old water supply over here. On deck, evolving. <laughs> Sheffield's finest. Ooh. Right, so basically, this is actually uh, quite tough. It's, it's a good job. It's a good exercise, actually. It's not tough, it's just a workout. So, we, this is how much we've done so far. So, then we start on this side. So, in one day, we managed to get all of this plaster, which 
is on the bottom half done. But then we did it on this side as well before we were scraping. So uh, yeah, we're just making some significant process, progress, oops. And yeah, we will uh, continue and catch you in the next. Just been to Wix, heavy duty rubble bags. This is what we got. Let me show you. So, like I said, heavy duty rubble bags, some paint brushes, sandpaper for the walls, rigger, gloves, multi purpose because that SDS machine, you really get some good vibration on that. Some more paint and brushes, maybe for the floor, maybe for the walls. Yeah, I think that's good, man. So, I think we have now completed with the old remove plastic from the wall. I'll tell you what, this SDS is a lifesaver. It really is. Otherwise, you know, we'd be here just chiseling it away. So, yeah, you would come shout out to you boys for this. Um, so yeah, we drew a line at the top, and that's going to be sort of in line with these pipes over here. We've got electricity port here, electricity port there, and now the next job is we're going to remove all of this, all this plastic, put it in the bins over here, um, and then, yeah, we'll see what happens next. But we made some big progression. Uh, me and Joe, shout out to Joe. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll be here all day, all night, all day, all night. So, yeah, we finished up on this section, and yeah, looking forward to the next one. Quite satisfying, isn't it? <laughs> so this is PVA glue. So what is good guys? Today is the 25th of November. 2020 and today we've got Seabag who is helping out we're doing the uh, PVA glue putting the PVA glue all the way on the walls on this wall on the far wall as well and we're just gonna let that sit overnight now what the PVA glue does is it sort of attracts and absorbs the dust 
Uh, and you can, as you can tell, it's quite a sort of dusty room right now. So uh, we're going to leave that, let that um, overnight. Yeah, so afterwards, we're going to go to, and um, we're just going to fill in these bricks. See these bits, bits of brick where things are sticking out, sort of nice and flat. So then when we get to paint it, it'll just be all smooth, flat. And yeah, on to the next. So 26th of November 2020, we have six days, six days until the gym opens and yeah, you know, you might think that that's a lot of time, but I'll tell you what, when you're working a full-time job and yeah, that, that really isn't enough, enough time. So that's why you get good old Hal bringing in, bringing in the, uh, the support, much appreciated. Um, and today, I'm not sure you can see, now we've got brick wall and we have plasterboard up there. We couldn't actually remove all the plasterboard from that bit there because it was too high for us. And obviously we're novices, pretty, pretty much novices. So today we've actually, we've actually plastered the gap in between. So you've got brick, plaster, and you plaster in between. And yeah, then we're gonna smooth it down with sandpaper. So you get a nice effect, hopefully, um, between the two. And yeah, brick walls. So we'll catch you next. What is good guys, you know who it is. Today's the 27th of November and we're back in the warehouse gym. So today I've got myself Rams. We got Rams. And uh, what we're doing is we're gonna sandpaper the plaster. So yesterday me and Hal, we actually plastered all of this. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a fine job. I'll probably give it, uh, give us a five out of 10. <laughs> maybe a six out of 10 um, for that performance. But yeah, as you can see, we've got some plaster on here. And we're just going to sandpaper this down and then once we've sanded it out we're going to put some pba glue on top um ready for the painting tomorrow so we do have i believe five days until the gyms open in the uk and that is the date for when this gym will be open so we've got a lot to do um and yeah not much time but we've got many hands on deck tomorrow today we've got me and big rams and we're gonna get the sandpapering done and yeah <laughs> on to the next <laughs> it looks amazing and this is only just one coat i'm loving that rock effect <laughs> going for a black theme now the main intention was basically getting this back wall painted black because that's going to be the main sort of feature wall we'll get a slight performance there on the back yeah we're going to continue painting this and this is our first coat we're probably going to go for three coats in total and yeah from there we'll just see how we get on How? Date? Date 29th. 29th of November. And yeah, today we've got a number of hands on deck. We've got Eamon, the little bro, and we've got Hal, and we've got NA to the V. Yes. So over here, Eamon has just opened up this wood undercoat primer. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that onto the walls. And yeah, that's going to basically soak in and allow us to put the paint on more easily. Um, yeah. On top of this, so yesterday, Hal's just having a look at the walls because he, he wasn't here yesterday and he's going to finish up um, the painting. So we've applied a first coat of black paint to the walls. Um, as you can see, it's been done very nicely, uh, but there's still quite a few of these little sort of white bits over here. So we're just going to put a second coat of paint on top of that. Um, and as well as that, I sort of scraped the roof off yesterday. So scraped off a lot of the bits of the roof. Um, and I do have 
some paint over here, which I'll show you in a second. And basically the paint is just gonna be on top of the wall. So we've got black walls, we've got like a gray um, ceiling. And then over here for these walls, with the MDF, we're gonna be putting on this storm gray, storm gray on the walls. I'm just gonna see how it gets on. So yeah, I'm quite, quite excited. We're gonna do a big shift today. Paint the ceiling, two coats. My hands are full of paint on this GoPro, so I'm gonna have to give it a big clean afterwards. We got T, T to the V to the A to the G. That's great. So I'm just gonna finish up on the ceiling. You see all these little bits sort of dripping down. I'm gonna get all these sort of little nooks and crannies full of paint before we can move on to the next. So we've just finished, got the paint on from the side. Also finished, well not quite finished, the black paint on the walls. So me and Ramsey have just completed the painting on this wall. As you can see, it is very black. I think this third coat of painting really has helped. You know, at first we we're just gonna put it too, but then we just went around in all these different cracks. We just painted in the black. Now the next thing, we're gonna brush the floor and then we're gonna bring the painting over here. Today is the 3rd of December 2020 and we have finished painting the walls, we have finished painting the ceiling, we have finished painting these walls here. Now it's time for the floor. Now we've sealed the floor yesterday, actually that was Hal's story. He sealed the floor with garage sealer. Now I'll just show you that because I might actually forget. It's backwards but it says concrete floor sealer and that's what it does, it just seals the floor. No messing around, no gimmicks, that's what it does. Now, we've just got this paint, slate color, I do believe. I'll show you it. I'm not scared to show you. Look, garage floor paint. And it's evening, and I've got a gym session in approximately 35 minutes. So we're gonna time lapse this and you will see the progression of the floor as we continue. It's now three o'clock, time for being cute. There we go, nice. Now we're coming for some last minute gym essentials. Hi right there. And we're coming in into the B&Q. So we'll keep you updated and we'll show you what we're gonna get. Right, so we found some of these. 
Now, I have no idea which size. So, I want to take maybe this size here. We want it nice and sturdy. It's got actually the KG over here. So this one, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, do you want a handy saw or you get it? Are you doing one bit by bit? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can see B&Q in the background there. Welcome to the video. Me and Hal have just been to B&Q. Today is Saturday the 11th, I believe, of Saturday the 12th of December. And we are driving through now back to uh, the gym. Today is the opening of Aspire Performance and it has been a very busy day so far. Um, <clears throat> just, you know, sorting everything out, make sure everything is in check. Me and Hal have just been to B&Q and bought metal for the boxing bag and we got some hooks on there. So hopefully these metal chains that we found at B&Q are going to sort us out. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Al's excited. We're all excited. Today is the day Aspire Performance is going to finally be, um, it's finally going to be alive. Today is the birthday. Very stressful day trying to get everything together, but we like it. We like the busyness and we like, you know, the rumble in the tungle. <laughs> yeah, whatever that means. Um, I, uh, I'm, on, I'm on minimal sleep, by the way. So, uh, yeah, just, just to let you know. So, yeah, without further ado, we will catch you in the next clip. Three, two, one. Here we go! So I hope you guys enjoyed the gym transformation video. Um, I'm just going to sit here and, and wrap up the video um, and the sort of final points and basically how I managed to um, open up my own gym because to be honest, it was never under my intention of opening up um, a gym. But I think this last year and you know the opportunities that, that have arisen, um, you know, I'm very grateful for the opportunity really. Um, so yeah, I've, I've always been an athletic person. Um, I was training when I was 16, 17 years of age. I was just training with my friends, um, went, went to the gym, socialized, and even throughout university when I was playing football and lacrosse, I've always been an, an athletic and, and, and sporty person. But um, yeah, I, I, I always loved having the idea, you know, of having my own gym. Um, so, you know, me and my friends, can really train their family as well. Like my brother's doing me start, you know, getting get into his lifting. We, we've had some good sort of bonding sessions, um, just, just lifting weights, to be honest. And um, I think this year with, with, with the whole coronavirus um, and my, my knee basically. So on November, 2019, um, I had torn my ACL. So completely ruptured. And in March, 2020, I was um, supposed to be having my operation. Um, but yeah, like that spurred on the ACL to Ironman. Um, I ruptured my ACL before and it is quite difficult. It's quite hard 
um, because of the recovery process. And to be honest, I don't think it'll ever be the same as, as before, but um, you know, I've been through this before. I understand what the rehab and the whole rehab, rehabilitation is like. So um, yeah, my whole issue with, with the ACL to Ironman, uh, not really an issue, sorry, uh, my whole, so yeah, my whole uh, situation with ACL to Ironman is that I wanted to um, inspire a lot of people who had also had a knee injury um, and were feeling down and they feel like they can't get back to their sport, can't get back to being better or even getting, you know, getting, getting stronger. So, um, you know, I've met and communicated and connected with so many people around the world and you know, for me to, to, to inspire them is really um, something which I'm, I'm very proud of. And it makes me feel happy um, inside supporting all these people around the world. So, um, you know, it, it just it, it inspired me to then move forward with, um, you know, looking for options for um, a, a space where I can train and focus on my Ironman. That's gonna be the big one because the whole thing that started this off was my, my Ironman training, my ACL2 Ironman, to show the people, show, show the world that you know, life is not over if you've had an ACL injury. Now, as you can see in the gym itself, um, there's, there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, the, the league is still ongoing, so um, it's, it's, a, it's a stormy night here in Sheffield today on Boxing Day. Um, and yeah, I've got leaks left, right, and centre. But you know, I'm I'm just grateful to even have this place. Yes, it's it's cold, and um, you know, it's leaking left, right, and centre. But these things will will adapt, will understand. And personally, I've never done anything like this before. So you know, painting or even anything. So you know, having this situation right now is is just amazing. Yeah, and about the name Aspire Performance, like I've always knew it's going to be a performance gym. Um, that's what I love. That's what I love taking people to the next level and taking my body to the next level personally. Yeah, and aspire. Um, I always ask, what do you aspire to be? Um, you know, I usually ask that to the, to the younger generation to see what their plans are um, and, you know, what they really strive for and what motivates them and what keeps them going. Um, for me, my aspirations is, is to help as many you know, people as I can, um, whether that is through physical sport and exercise and getting to that, that mental um, toughness and strength as well. Um, I just want everyone to be able to just push themselves to the next level and um, you know, have that, that, that passion, you know, deep down passion, that burning desire that they can do more, they can be more. Um, and so, yeah, like that is Aspire Performance. Um, so yeah, watch this space. 2021 is going to be quite exciting. Um, you know, you can see the gym now and you can see what, what it's going to be like, hopefully next year. And um, I'm very excited to see how it's going to progress and take you guys on the journey because the main journey is, is the Iron Man. And, you know, we've got a lot of work to do ourselves. So. Um, there's going to be a lot of things popping off in January uh, 2021. So um, stay tuned. It's going to be very, very eventful. And if you did like the video and you managed to get this far, hope you can like the video and subscribe for more content um, for Aspire One Performance, ACL to Ironman, Mazin Alnimi out.